What if I told you that you have the power to create your own reality? That you can shape your life according to your desires and imagination? That you can influence the people and events around you with your thoughts and feelings? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's the truth that has been hidden from you for a long time, and it's the truth that I'm going to reveal to you today. The key to reality creation is understanding one simple but profound principle. Everyone is you pushed out and imagined. What does this mean? It means that the world you see around you is a reflection of your inner state. It means that the people you encounter are projections of your own consciousness. It means that the situations you experience are manifestations of your own beliefs and assumptions. And it means that you can change any of these things by changing yourself. Let me explain how this works. Everything in the universe is made of energy and vibration. This includes you and your thoughts and feelings. Your thoughts and feelings are not just abstract concepts. They are real forces that affect the quantum field of possibilities. When you think and feel something, you send out a signal to the field that attracts and activates a corresponding reality. This is how you create your reality with your mind. But your mind is not limited to your personal reality. Your mind is also connected to the collective consciousness of humanity. This is where everyone else's thoughts and feelings are stored and shared. And this is where everyone is you pushed out and imagined comes into play. When you think and feel something about another person, you are not only creating your own reality, you are also creating their reality. You are influencing how they behave, what they say and what they do. You are shaping their character their personality and their destiny. You are doing this because they are part of you. They are aspects of your own consciousness. This may sound unbelievable or even crazy, but it's true. And there are many examples and testimonies that prove it. For instance, Neville Goddard taught his students how to use their imagination to change their relationships, their health, their finances, and their careers. He showed them how to imagine scenes that imply the fulfillment of their wishes and how to feel the reality of those scenes, as if they were already happening. He claimed that by doing this, they could impress their subconscious mind with their desired state, and then watch it unfold in their physical reality. One of his most famous stories is about a woman who wanted to marry a man who was already engaged to someone else. Neville told her to imagine that she was wearing a wedding ring on her finger, and that she was happily married to the man she loved. He told her to feel the joy and satisfaction of being his wife and to persist in this state until it became natural to her. She followed his instructions faithfully and within a few weeks she received a phone call from the man. He told her that he had broken off his engagement with his fiancée and that he wanted to marry her instead. He said that he had always loved her but he didn't know how to tell her until now. The woman was overjoyed and soon they got married. This is just one example of how everyone is you pushed out and imagined works. This demonstrates the same principle. You can change anyone or anything by changing yourself. Maybe you want to improve your relationships with your family, friends or partner. Maybe you want to attract more money and wealth into your life. Maybe you want to heal someone from an illness or injury. Maybe you want to help someone achieve their goals or dreams. Whatever your reason is, you can do it by using everyone is you pushed out and imagined. But how do you do it? How do you use this principle effectively? The first step is to realize that everyone is you pushed out and imagined. This means that you have to take full responsibility for your reality. You have to stop blaming others for your problems, stop complaining about your circumstances, stop waiting for things to change. You have to realize that you are the only one who can change them by changing yourself. The second step is to imagine and feel what you want as if it were already true. This means that you have to use your imagination and emotions to create a vivid picture of your desired reality in your mind. You have to see it, hear it, touch it, taste it, smell it. You have to feel it with all your senses. You have to feel it with all your heart. The third step is to let go and trust. This means that you have to release your attachment to the outcome and surrender to the process. You have to stop worrying about how and when it will happen and just know that it will happen. You have to trust in yourself, trust in God, trust in the universe. These are the three steps of reality creation. Realize, imagine, let go. 
What if I told you that you have the ability to attract untold wealth and abundance into your life, and that this ability is lying dormant inside your DNA? Hard to believe? Well, this is exactly what a NASA scientist recently found out, and he laid out a step-by-step -step method to unlock our dormant ability. In this report, you can get it for free. The simple yet scientifically proven wealth DNA method laid out in the report allows you to effortlessly start attracting the wealth and abundance you deserve so you can easily quit your soul-sucking dead-end job and live the life you've always dreamed of. Whether it's traveling to exotic locations around the world, buy anything you want without having to check out the price tags and never having to worry about bills. Click below to access your free DNA gift.